And speaking of the weather in Florida, the weather down there is great, great for sharks. Last year, Florida had more shark attacks than anywhere else in the world, but that didn't stop our friend David Sutter at CBS station WFOR in Miami. He jumped in feet first and did it without a cage. He joins us now from Key Biscayne. Good morning. Good morning, John. I'm happy to report I got all my fingers and limbs. We got uncomfortably close in a series of dives over the past few weeks, and we found it takes a certain kind of person to do this work. His name is Dr. Samuel Gruber. Here's what I want. I want you could call him the shark whisperer. I want you to try to clear that shark. Can you do that or no? But he hardly whispers. Go look at that shark. Perhaps he's the shark barker. That's all he is. Dr. Samuel Gruber could be summed up in one word. Crazy. Uh, I frankly never thought I'd live past 30. Maybe now, maybe now. Despite being bit by one, he's made it to 74 years old, and he's still rounding up huge sharks at his shark research lab in Bimini. We have easily two more sharks. Uh. Doc invited us here to see sharks up close. Let's get this guy tagged. And he wasted no time, convincing me I needed to swim with sharks for the first time in my life. Dorsal fin in your left hand, pectoral fin in your right hand. I'm nervous. I've never been this close. Go, guys, go! For crap's sake! This 11 foot tiger shark is nearly twice my size. She could take a bite out of me any moment. We glide 80 feet into her world, a glimpse into a side of sharks we never see. Back at the dock, River explains Jaws got it wrong. Sharks are not after us, we are out for them. Here we go. <laughs> to make his point, he catches the top shark in the ocean, a bull. Let him run, let him run. They're even more of a top predator than, than like a great white shark. He walks right up and grabs him by the fin. Then look at those nice fins, boy. The Chinese are gonna go wild over those things. Asian demand for shark fin soup is encouraging fishermen to hunt these bigger sharks for their bigger fins. This winter, Florida officials started to attack the problem, banning the fishing of tiger and hammerhead sharks. Unfortunately, these rules um, only apply to state waters. Biologists believe it's inadequate because sharks migrate up and down the East Coast based on the season. Gruber takes us back underwater to explain why we should be protecting these sharks. Diving with a shark is one thing. Diving into a pack, though, is another. We are not in danger. Actually, these are dangerous sharks. He calms my nerves by petting one. <laughs> then he explains sharks keep the ocean in check. If the race sharks disappear, all of the animals that are fed on by the race sharks will start to proliferate and explode in their numbers. Something we need for our survival. I try to convince the government of it, but they, they, they you know, they're, they're more afraid probably of getting sued than they are of what some old crazy shark guy has to say. And so Gruber, while ever persistent and perhaps crazy, crazy like a fox, continues his push for the world's most misunderstood animal. All right, just let him go. Let him go. What a wild ride. We can tell you one of the fascinating things about this is they're putting these satellite tags on these sharks to track where they go. And there's an app out there called Exposition White Shark. We looked at it this week and guess what? The shark that I rode down on is actually in Biscayne Bay right now. And you're following him on the iPhone. You might have nomophobia. Listen, like most the uh, TV correspondents, you probably have an agent. So this is actually not your first time dealing with sharks. But I'm still a little confused about the shark attacks being up, but then the law to ban fishing them. Don't those things conflict? They absolutely do. And in the case here, what they're trying to do is show you that the sharks are actually disappearing here in Florida because of the fishing. And while you see great numbers off our shores, still, they're about 10 percent of the experts are saying they're about 10 percent of what used to be here back in the day. Amazing. David Sutter from our CBS station WFOR in Miami. Thanks.